Ask any online business operator and they will happily tell you the money is in the list. You know if they haven't mentioned it already before you even got a chance to ask anything. Us content creators can really learn something from online marketers. And that thing is how to use your data to channel our readers to the right place, which is of course our email list. So in this video, I wanna show you how tracking the right data can help you grow your audience and then walk you through setting up your Google Analytics account to do exactly that. Let's go. This is the Google Analytics 4 homepage. This is the main toolbar, and right here under the configure menu lays a gold mine that many content creators overlook. If you're like me, you probably think of the word conversion as internet slang for making a sale. But the truth is, it's a wider term that applies every time a visitor to your website actively does what you hoped they would do whether it's sharing your blog post, clicking on a link, or signing up for an email list. And even if you are not trying to sell anything yet, you should still set conversion goals on Google Analytics to track your email list signups. Why? Well, basically because it's much easier to make a familiar reader come back for more content than to attract a brand new reader. So if you want to scale up your audience, you need to convert every incidental visitor into a long-term follower. And tracking analytics data can help you to do that, just like it helps online marketers track their conversions. Because once you see things like what blog post landed a lot of conversions, where do these conversions come from, where did other potential conversions bounce out of your site, and so on and so forth, you can modify your content and optimize it according to these insights to make your list grow effectively. Okay, now that you're convinced, it's time for me to explain how you set up those conversion goals on Google. Google Analytics with three quick steps, starting from the Google Analytics homepage. Like I mentioned earlier, you just, number one, click on configure in the main toolbar. Number two, click on conversions in the second toolbar. Number three, mark one or more of your events as a conversion using the toggle button in the table. But because signing up to your email list won't necessarily appear automatically as an event, here are three additional steps for adding it to the event menu. Number one, click on configure in the main toolbar. Number two, click on events in the second toolbar. Number three, click the create event button in the table that appears. And specify the name of the event and the conditions under which this event will be triggered. Now you can start tracking your conversion metrics and understand how to get more people to sign up to your email list. I hope you find this video helpful. And if you do, please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.